What's up, everybody? It's your girl. Be back with another video. Everybody just needs to let me untangle this. Everybody just needs to relax. <laughs> I don't know who needs to hear that, but just relax. Okay, so we're gonna do some energy checking. Let's see. I wasn't gonna do a video, and then before I left, and then I was like, you know what? Let me just do a quick video. It says, "Lady." Oh, wow, this reminds me of the show that I used to watch. Lady La Vendadora de Flores. High Priestess, harness mystic power and enjoy growth and reap rewards. Let's see. Um, trust your talents in changing times. Okay, so I'm being drawn to say um, some of you guys have some sort of natural talent that you guys can not capitalize on, but like you guys can make money on. So like just continue bask in joy and light. So if you continue to work towards like, like say you want to like make candles or something or like make something um, or make like make your own money in some sort of way, just like try to focus. There's something on my phone. I swore on one. <laughs> I had to take it off. It was right where the numbers were, so I keep looking at it. Um, door to Spirit, Angel of Love. I think that um, if you guys are struggling with, like, maintaining something to do with money, like, just remember to, like, stay calm. <laughs> Things always work out. Um, go the distance. This is actually Divine Feminine Energy, which is the cheetah. So it's, like, I could, and it says new life. So take whatever, um, like, change or take whatever guardian angel you're protected it says um you're not alone so take whatever change that you're like having to incorporate in your life and like if it has to do with you know having to adjust like what i'm getting is like subscriptions or something like go like go down the list of the things that you pay for and like try to eliminate all the things that you really just pay that are um, that you don't really need, you know what I mean? It's like for me, I I have ESPN Plus and I do not watch ESPN Plus. Like I've been needing to remove that from my subscription because <laughs> I have a lot. Cause yeah, I just have a lot. Um, but but yeah, so maybe some of you guys are trying to like sort out. I'm getting like sorting out stuff, like throwing away things that you don't need. Maybe old habits, old things, old. I was gonna say old people, but not old people. I mean like old relationships and things like that. Okay, so I was I was shuffling so lady. I didn't even get to shuffle this. So let's see. This is the answers moon. Take note of intuitive messages. So always listen to your intuition. Um, it was really difficult for me to understand, like listening to my intuition, but it's like or, or a negative thought. So it's like somebody can tell you like I can tell myself like, oh, my God, this is happening. But that's just my own worries and like my own negative thoughts. But I have to remember like to see things from like some like take myself out of a situation and look at it and be like does this even look right or if someone's trying to trigger you remember that like they're trying to get a reaction out of you like take a step back and there's no need to respond to it and obviously if like people aren't comprehending you or something like that if somebody's just not comprehending what you're saying and they're just saying like i don't know what you're talking about or they try to like run around in circles and like ask you a question when you've asked them a question it's like um, who's confused here, you or me? Because I think it's both of us because you're not answering the question because you're obviously confused and not wanting to answer the question. I don't know why I'm saying that, but there's something along the lines of questioning or something. Maybe some of you guys are being questioned. <laughs> Lady came out again, so enjoy your growth. So maybe I'm just talking to a female. It says, elder, move beyond ancestral patterns. So the things in the past that could, could be... Um, following you from generation to generation i think I've, I've talked about this before in another reading which is like um when you break generational curses when you're the one to stop something like in a sense of like um i think i, I said this before like a, a a relationship like the same cycles or even it doesn't have to be romantic it can even be with friendships it's like people talking gossiping like like remove yourself from those types of situations where it's like they're draining and like we have to look at our our own lives and like i can even sit up on here and i can easily say like well i'm not gonna say my flaws but i'm not gonna say the things that i'm like the things that have happened in my life that are like so horrible but like we can understand that everybody has gone through something and we have all had to overcome certain situations so it's like we're not the only one and we have to remember that we're not the only one 
Shed old skin, snake. So it could be meaning you need to release your old self, old stories that you tell yourself, the things that like people used to tell you about or like the old way of you being, like you're not that way anymore. So kind of like remove yourself from that idea or the story that you tell yourself over and over and over again. The same thing, the moon came out. Um, you could be a Cancer or a Pisces. Um, I'm also getting Taurus and Sagittarius. So it says, take note of intuitive messages. So really listen to your intuition. Listen to yourself. What is your body telling you? That's a good way of understanding what's going on. If, like, if you feel scared, if your body feels uneasy. I actually just saw something on Instagram that said that when a feminine feminine and masculine we, we both know that everybody has feminine and masculine energy so when a feminine is feeling anxious for a long time when she's feeling like uncomfortable in a situation in a home that means that her masculinity her masculinity has now taken over because women naturally become more masculine when they feel like they need to protect themselves so if you're not making somebody feel comfortable they're gonna feel more masculine and they're gonna feel defensive and they're gonna feel like they're gonna or not defensive they're gonna like you know be more masculine it's like more of an attack more protective they protect themselves so <laughs> i feel like if you're not comfortable in a situation and you feel yourself getting into a more masculine energy understand that and feel those emotions and realize like oh, wait, i'm not comfortable in this situation maybe i'm anxious like what's going on um, sorry, when I look at the camera, I'm always like, <laughs> this card reminds me of my dad, because he told me, his, he used to have a picture of this in the Dominican Republic, um, his mom used to have a picture of this, so my grandma, um, it says, learn from spiritual experiences, so some of you guys can't, maybe, and I don't want to say, so maybe some of you guys have been going through some sort of passing, or like, a, somebody has passed away, or, and if this is not the case, that's not to say that this is going to happen, but maybe, um, because I'm just getting the dove, and you know when someone releases the dove, but it could also mean just a new beginning, trying to get into a new beginning of, in your life, so, like I said, this says go the distance, and new life, no place like home, so I feel like, um, you guys need to focus on, um, moving forward, um, just it says door to spirit, so maybe spiritual enlightenment and the angel of love. I think I talked about it. So maybe you guys, oh, let me see. Maybe there's some sort of attachment that you guys are ha that you guys have, whether it be to a person, a job, material things. I'm getting like a car, something like that. Shift your perspective on it and like um, try not to see it in such a negative way and like. Um, just remember, it says rabbit and octopus. Wow, the rabbit, I literally saw a rabbit run across the street from my, like in front of my car last night when I was driving down the street. Um, you definitely are dealing with something like, I don't want to say under the table, like you're def <laughs> under the table. No, you're definitely dealing with things that you haven't really spoken about, that you haven't really expressed to other, wow, I just like ticked right now. <laughs> That happens to me sometimes. Like, I get, like, a tick. Um, so maybe you guys are just noticing, like, you're... Maybe you guys are retreating more. Maybe you guys are just trying to figure something out. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry if that was loud. I need some water. Continue to tell yourself your positive affirmations because I just looked up... Maybe because I'm just used to looking up and reading it from my desk. But I just looked at my... Um, my affirmations right there so um you could be a scorpio because we have scorpion right here okay so let's see what the end of the vibe is like oh yeah i have my book right here okay so for whoever needs to hear this, let's see what your guys's animal spirit is for the day i'm doing it a little different i'm doing different ones today i have so many oracle cards that i really need to Ooh, i love this one. Ooh, a bunch fell um, you could have, because <laughs> I got Vulture right here, you could have somebody that could just be, you could be a Leo as well. Oh, look at the frog came out. So you could be having, because I'm getting, with all of these that fell, I can totally say that there's definitely people that could be trying to test you or try you, because I got the dragon, I got the Vulture, and Fire Ant, and the Fire Ant means like you are light, this could mean like a fire, like a moth to a flame too. It's like everybody like is going to this one area because you're there and it's like 
And now I'm getting like a famous person. You know when someone's like, oh my God, Selena's at the mall. And then everybody goes running. I, I don't know why I'm getting something like that. Um, so you could be needing to declutter your space. But I'm getting out of here. You could be, there could be somebody. I didn't even tell you what came out, but this is the best card anyways. Um, the, there could be people that are trying to like, I'm getting like snap at you or something. Um, but you have the ability, I feel like you mirror other people. Like you are somebody that mirrors to other people how they're acting. And this is their lesson. Like you are somebody's less. like you, you show people what um, they're doing. Like you like mirror and on here it says mirror mirror i don't know if let me see if i could find it it's a mirror guardian and oh, oh no that was air guardian but there's a mirror i don't know why i'm getting like mirror guardian and i want to see what it says on here if i could find it no come on okay let me see it has to be over here somewhere for sure of course, it's in the front. No, I can't find it. No. I don't know, but it says Mirror Guardian, so maybe... I don't know why I can't find it. Um, maybe you guys need to open up your heart. Anyway, so this is what I got. 11.22 on the clock when I looked up. So you guys are definitely going in the right direction. I actually just thought, heard a message about 11.22, meaning when you see that, you're going in the right direction. So we got whale. So the whale means there's a lot of wisdom. I'm going to read it from the book, though, too. So it means that you, you hold a lot of wisdom, ancient wisdom, even, like, with talking, things like that. Um, let me see. Maybe you guys are inventing something because the shark came on. Every time I see the shark, I always think of um, shark tank. Shark tank. Um, you could definitely be a water sign. Cancer Scorpio Pisces because the whale's in the water. Okay. Desire to delve deeper, profound peace and ancient wisdom. The well represents profound emotional health and stability. Well personalities are not afraid of emotional expression or trans traversing, traversing difficult terrain as they have overcome any challenges in their life. In their lives, these experiences have enriched them, given them stability, strength, and depth that is rare. Well energy is used is usually linked to the feminine forces of compassion and communication. We could depend on well personality personalities when all else seems lost and trust them to be a beacon in our darkest hour so definitely you guys could be connecting with somebody who um has a lot of wisdom who maybe um i'm getting like a parent figure or somebody that is older that you are maybe you're younger and you are um trying to connect with somebody to give you some sort of advice or maybe it's just somebody who's done what you've done or something like that because like if you're a business owner maybe you need some business help something like that um, well, energy, oh no, we can depend on blah, 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 blah. Okay, when in balance, calm, steady, deeply compassionate. When out of balance, heavy slips into old story, which I was telling you, don't tell yourself the old story. To bring into balance regular self care. Um, you guys could be an Aquarius or a Capricorn. The 17th is actually, um, 117 is um, a, what I'm getting. <laughs> I'm getting that number. So real quick, let me do tarot. So what do I want to use? What tarot deck do I want to use? I guess I'll use this one. All right, so you guys, let's see. Maybe you guys are having some sort of, maybe you guys are just trying to be strong for something or somebody, maybe for some friends. Maybe you want to have some sort of reconciliation, dive into something new, something. I feel like you guys, um, maybe you think this is a missed opportunity because I have the three of wands here, which is somebody waiting and the ships are just passing by. But you got to like take that leap in order for things to move and things to happen. Like you can't just, you can't expect things to change if, you know, you don't change. So let's see what the energy is right now. You are a badass. This card comes out all the time. I just leave it in there. You are a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities. And it says, through this deck, may you find the path to your best self. So hopefully you find the path to your best self. Number 12 could be significant. Ooh, the emperor card. These are all falling. We have the emperor, which talks about you are in your... Maybe you're in a masculine energy. I was talking about feminine and masculine energy. 
Um, maybe you are starting something new, but also it could mean, sorry guys, it could also mean that you are, you're an emperor, you could be a Pisces. Um, I, the six of wands, I mean the six of wands, oh, okay. So when I said the six of wands, the six of wands, we always talk about it, talks about the victory wreath, that you are going to win. Like there, there is always going to be, like you're always going to win no matter what. Um, I feel like you have been moved on to calmer waters. Whether or not you can like think of it in that way right now, things can maybe, I don't know why I'm being drawn to say this, maybe you guys are going through something difficult or maybe there's just something that you're not understanding, like you're not, you don't understand what happened or something. And so, but you have to remember spirit, you could be feeling like this, like regretful, like sad. The Five of Cups talks about crying over spilled milk. Like all these three cups spilled, but you still have two cups back there that you have to remember. And spirit is guiding you because they don't want you to lose everything. So they're guiding you away because, which is what it is, because this is choppy waters. This is emotional. This is like emotional, like chaos and stuff like that. That's what I'm getting, like fighting or something. So it's like spirit had to move you away so and it, like i've said this before if you if it didn't happen this way it would have happened a different way because it's what's faded like literally like we are never in control we have to remember that we're never in control but when we start to act like we're in control or bake it feel, what did i say the six of wands you will <laughs> it's just funny because it's like what i'm saying the six of wands that victory wreath like you will you're winning like you're gonna win no matter what so you have to just remember to move forward like keep moving forward work on your pentacle just keep working hard i feel like um you could be into like architecture or something to do with like well now i'm getting bidding <laughs> but but also you could be yeah everything is fine look there's an ending there's two cards i really want to find it just to show you guys because I need to show you if I can find it. I can't find any cards today. I don't know why. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go slowly. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I have to show you. If it's in here, it has to be. Oh, no. That's the nine of swords. Come on. Why? Okay, I found it. Okay. So this is the card that came out. It says everything is fine. This person's on their phone. They're talking to friends, dealing with that. This one says the Ten of Swords. So when this card comes out, I always take it as there's an ending. This is like an ending and you're like miserable. Okay, there's betrayal. Yes, there was a betrayal, but everything is fine because spirit is moving you for your own good. So, Queen of Cups, um, you could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Uh, maybe, you're, maybe you were cold towards somebody or something. Maybe you were being cold towards somebody because I saw the King of Swords, which means like no emotions. Queen of Cups is a very emotional person. So, it's like if you're emotional, uh, you're not, you have to, if somebody's emotional, you have to give them emotional stability, uh, like um, validation. So, it's like, that's just what it is, like, in a relationship. So if you're cold and the person is happy and chipper, you know what makes them happy. It keeps them stuck in their head. So, like, if this has to do with, the, with a relationship or something, maybe somebody was very cold towards you. And, like, you have to realize, like, maybe you guys are just not an energetic match right now. Yeah, I think you guys have to have the strength. You guys have to have the strength and stop getting being stuck in your head going round and round over the situation. I feel like you're kind of stuck in your emotions whoa the way that came out it's so cool yeah i feel like you're waiting for somebody to like um you see she's like she's like annoyed like at this point and if this has to do with a situation where like and, and her shirt says over it it's like you know you're over it, but you're continuing to stay stuck and it literally slows you down the knight of pentacles in reverse the knight of pentacles alone is a very slow moving offer yeah, I feel like there's just um, a higher level of commitment that's going to be ending because it's in reverse. Just like we can't do anything about it. It's like, yeah, Ten of Cups, maybe it has to do with a family situation. I feel like this really kept you stuck in your head, not knowing whether or not to move forward. But I feel like there's going to be some sort of, yeah, the, definitely there's a cycle ending. I feel like when this happens, wow, these slid out of the deck. And I was going to say good news because the page of wands talks about some sort of message coming in or some sort of like 
maybe opportunity, maybe it has to do with just a good news in a sense. But the Page of Wands could also just be like younger. So maybe this is just new or something new that you're learning. Um, the Star and the Ten of Pentacles came out, which I said there is a cycle that's ending, which is the world card. But look, there's that victory because that's a victory wreath there too, if you really think about it. And there's an infinity sign there. So like you're always going to be completing cycles and starting again. Like this is just what life is about. So remember, I just keep seeing like relax. So the star and the ten of pentacles, maybe you guys are going to be reaching a level of success, which because the star card talks about healing, success, like um, you're a star. And the ten of pentacles talks about generational um, wealth, generational, you know, um, legacy, creating a legacy and having like, um, what do you call it? Like success overall in your life, in your business, in your in your relationships. I feel like you guys definitely need to heal. So we'll just do one more card. Yeah, 20%. <laughs> and I just woke up. I didn't charge my phone last night, darn. All right, one last card. I feel like you guys are seven of pentacles. Oh, I need another card at this. Mm. Okay, this makes sense. So there could be somebody from the past because we got the six of, six of cups. Um, I feel like you were waiting on some sort of, because the night of long is somebody who's like a playboy, somebody who just comes in and out for romantic, like, activities, and then they leave. So I feel like um, you were in a lot of conflict with this, and I feel like you would, would sit and wait. And it's like, for what? I mean, I don't even need to explain the card. So it was kind of like, yeah, you were juggling back and forth in your head. And, yeah, about some sort of partnership. Somebody could have been left out in the cold. Somebody could have been ghosted. I feel like somebody's manifesting their... Somebody, maybe either you're manifesting for yourself to be stable or you're just manifesting a new connection. Because, yeah, I feel like somebody could be watching you. It could have to do with work. So um, it maybe somebody's watching your work and they're... Now I'm getting copying, but whatever. Honestly... And now I'm getting that song, Imitation is just a flat, isn't flattering. With that Drake song that he says, like, imitation, like, he's not flattered by this imitation because you're just trying to copy him or something like that. Like, anyways, I'm not even going to get into that. See, because the page of swords, someone's watching. Maybe you're watching. Someone's watching. Page of swords, it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Um, let me leave you guys with an affirmation card. I really want to, I don't know, my, 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 my hand went to this card, I mean, to this deck, so I really want to leave you guys with the Believe in Your Own Magic. The name, or I'm not even going to say the name, but a letter A and the letter L. Don't be afraid to sing, it says. Don't be afraid to sing. Don't be afraid to um, speak up. So if you guys need to speak up about something, you could be born in the summer, maybe your birthday is coming up, I don't know. Don't forget to speak up. Don't don't be shy. Don't yeah. Wow, guys. Don't be afraid to sing came out. And don't seek anyone's approval. Wow, this is amazing. So, um, it, this could even be for me, 23, 23, when I looked up. Um, sometimes I don't come on here because I can go hard, I can go ham, I can speak about a lot of shit. But I don't. I don't because why give you guys all my secrets? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but that's true. It's like, why? Like, I know what I know because that's what I know. And, like, I give what information that I want to give out. And it's like, don't be afraid to speak up. This could be for me. Don't be afraid to speak up. Because sometimes I do get a little nervous to put messages out here because I talk about situations and I'm like, um, well, I know I'm not crazy. So somebody's going through this. But I just don't like to put it out because, like, I can have an idea of who but I don't like to because it's like putting people on blast but I have to really remember who cares they did the deed they got to do it whatever I mean I have to take accountability for my actions as well I'm not I'm not perfect and I'm not I'm not a saint you know but anyways don't be afraid to sing and don't seek anyone's approval so I'm gonna read the book real quick so 43 43 43 4 5 so definitely some changes happening all right. Um, you've been made to believe that your voice, that your unique point of view in this world isn't worth very much. Let me tell you that 
You, that couldn't be farther from the truth. Your words are worth all the stars in the night sky, so don't forget to sing whenever you have a chance. Your voice is powerful enough to sink a dozen spaceships. I was just talking about that. You have a lot of information, you, your words. Maybe you're a Gemini. You could be a Virgo as well. Why did that do that? Um, anyways, so you could be a Gemini. You could be a Virgo. Um, yeah. Number 12, don't seek anyone's approval. People will always have their own expectations of who they think you should be. Their opinions are almost always based on restrictive societal norms and therefore are extremely unrealistic. No matter what they tell you, remember that you have permission to be whoever it is you most wish to be. And you don't need anyone else's approval, only yours. Now I'm getting like, okay, because there could have been a situation in my, in, in my situation or like in a situation in the past um there was uh i can easily be like you're doing this wrong like obviously it doesn't fit with my standards or like with what my expectations are and that's not to say that like i require so much but how's that for happily ever after at the bottom of the deck you guys are definitely gonna be receiving something that you're gonna be like oh wow and you're gonna even forget about all the bullshit that you've gone through honestly that's what i'm feeling or like if, with if this has to do with a job you guys are gonna be receiving something better like you gotta think of it like that like if there is an end to something like remember god doesn't take away without the intention of replacing it with something better like literally anyways okay um what was i gonna say um don't seek anybody's approval. I don't know why I was saying something, but I'm going to just let it be. Okay. Anyway, so that is my video. I'm going to get out of here and start my Tuesday because it's Tuesday, right? Oh, and I slept with my... I've been falling asleep, like, knocking out, like, with all my lights on, like, my clothes sometimes, my watch, don't charge my phone. Like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm just really tired lately, and I've just been sleeping bomb. Anyways. So I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me know if it resonates. Like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great Taco Tuesday. Bye.